All right, so in this video, we're just gonna do a little time lapse of uh, swapping out this carburetor. Got to get this old one off here uh, for a couple reasons. The um, main reason being there's nowhere to hook up a kick down cable to it. And with my new transmission, I decided to go with a kick down cable. This time, I'm not go with a full manual valve body. So uh, you can see there the gasket's looking pretty rough on that old spacer. I'm gonna get rid of that spacer and put a uh, a wooden spacer in there. We're gonna try that out and see if that helps with the heat. But uh, I just gotta get that all ready to go. Another reason too that carburetor was on there was uh, actually leaking because one of the uh, bolts on the front bowl was stripped out. Couldn't get it tight anymore. It was just seeping a little bit, but you know, anytime you're leaking fuel, not too, not not a good thing. So a couple good reasons finally to get rid of that carburetor. It was pretty wore out. It was an old 750 uh, double pumper with the uh, with the big 50 cc accelerator pumps on it. I mean, it was a nice carburetor, but it was starting to show its age. So we're replacing it with a 70, uh, 770 um, Street Avenger vacuum secondary. Uh, the Street Avenger vacuum secondary is there. They do have a rear metering block, so you are able to uh, change the jets in the rear as well, which is nice. Um, but basically, I mean, it's a pretty nice car, but I got a good deal on it. It really wasn't necessarily what I was seeking out, but uh, it should work out pretty good, I think. That was me there. They're just tightening it. I made sure all the bolts on the uh, base plate were tight because every one of them was loose. Um, so, yeah, we're going to change out the uh, the uh, fuel line here, too, the inlet uh, fuel line. Just bought a Russell uh, brand. You know, with uh, nice DAS 6 and uh, uh, fittings. It was a lot better than that AutoZone piece of shit that was on there. Um, so it was pretty nice that uh, Pet Boys, I have a local Pet Boys that actually has the speed shop and they had this in stock. So it worked out pretty good. I was really surprised on what they had in stock down there at the uh, Pet Boys. But yeah, I mean, pretty much, amazingly too, everything on the first shot didn't leak. Nothing leaked at all, uh, which is, you know, surprising. It started up and idled. I didn't, I didn't touch anything on it. It started up and sat there and idled perfectly. I did eventually, um, uh, after driving it, had a little bit of a, felt a little bit weak in the, uh, yeah, so here's the um, shot of the new uh, throttle return spring set up from Jags. But uh, yeah, it felt a little bit weak when I first drove it. The idle circuit felt good, the pump shot felt good, but it felt a little weak after that. So I bumped it up from a 72 jet to a 73 and that seemed to give a little bit more smoother transition. So there it is, final. Just showing the uh, final product there. Um, that are cleaned up a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna tune on some more here, but didn't get it running in this video because it was like two in the morning, but there it is all finished up. So we'll get we'll get some more videos going on getting this S10 back to shape and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.